Today, we are going to discuss back propagation in detail. Yes, of course, it's going to have lots of math, but don't worry. I'm going to make this as simple as possible. There are two major topics from calculus have great contribution to back propagation. Before starting off, let me quickly cover those calculus topics. First, derivative. This is nothing but the slope of the tangent line to a graph of a function or it can be defined as a rate of change. If y is a function of x, then derivative of this function is a measure of the rate at which the function will change with respect to the change of input variable that is x. For example, the derivative of the position of a moving object with respect to time is velocity, which measures how quickly object's position changes with time. If y is a function of x, then its derivative will be denoted as f prime x or y prime or df dx or dy dx or ddx of fx or ddx of y. There are large collection of formula to find out derivative for different type of functions. But we will not discuss all the formulas. We will talk about only those formulas which are required for this video. If fx equals to c, c means constant here, then f prime x equals to 0. That means derivative of a constant is 0. Next is if fx equals to x to the power n, then f prime x equals to n into x to the power n minus 1. And this is called power rule. Next topic is chain rule. We use chain rule for composite function. Composite function is a function that depends on another function. Let's see how chain rule works. First, if we have fx as f of gx, then its derivative will be f prime gx into g prime x. And if y equals to function of u, and u is function of x, then derivative of y will be dy du equals to dy dx into dx du. So we talked enough about calculus. Let's get started with back propagation. As we discussed in last video, neural network's only task is to get value for weights and biases so that it can produce more accurate output for a new input that is from outside training data. We have seen in linear regression, gradient descent is used to minimize the cost function or error function. Neural network also uses gradient descent to train the model but little bit different way. Let me tell you why it is different. Neuron at hidden layer does not have any predefined output. Hence, we cannot specify error function particular to any neuron because its input depends on previous layer neurons and similarly its output will impact the next layer neurons. Now we will see how backpropagation train a neural network model. Let's begin with a notation through which we can easily define our network. W subscript JK and superscript L denotes wait for connection from Jth node in L minus 1th layer to Kth node in Lth layer. Here wait for the edge from first neuron in layer 0 to second node in the first layer denoted by w subscript 1 to superscript 1 b subscript j superscript l means bias of jth node in lth layer similarly activation function of jth node in lth layer is a subscript j superscript l this can be defined as a function of summation w j k l into a j l minus 1 plus b k l looks complicated okay let me explain these are weights biases and activation functions in between layer 1 and 2 how can we write output of first neuron in layer 2 it will be function of w112 into a11 plus w212 into a21 plus w312 into a31 plus b12 we can rewrite as summation of w j 1 2 into a j 2 minus 1 now if we replace 2 and 1 by l and k then we will get the equation now to simplify the formula let's write b k l as w 0 k l and a 0 l minus 1 equals to 1 then we can rewrite the function as w j k l into a j l minus 1 plus w 0 k l into a 0 l minus 1 and this can be written as w j k l into a j l minus 1 where j equals to 
0 to n instead of 1 to n. So now our equation looks clean and compact. Here we have to do all the calculations only against weight matrix. Our objective is to find out values for W and B so that network can calculate output value which will be closer to actual output and more closer means better model. To measure this, we need cost function or loss function. Most widely used cost function is squared mean error function which can be defined as C equals to 1 by N into summation of yi minus yi bar square. Here n denotes training data size, yi for actual output and yi bar for predicted value. Back propagation's objective is to understand how changing weights in network cost function's value changes. We need to calculate the derivative of cost function with respect to w and b to know the rate of change. But we have already replaced the bias with weight and made a simple equation. So we don't need to calculate derivative with respect to bias. Let's see how backpropagation attempts to minimize the cost function with respect to weights. We have to calculate dc, dw, j, k, l for each w, j, k, l. We have already seen y bar that is predicted output which is nothing but a function of weight of current layer and previous layer's activation function. So it's function of function which means this is a composite function. If we apply this chain rule to the derivative of cost function it will be like dc, d, a, l, k into d a l k d w j k l this means we are representing this as product of the change in cost function due to activation function a k l and the change in activation function a k l due to the weight w j k l as we have already known that neural networks learn through back propagation algorithm which propagates the error in backward direction that is from output layer down all the way to input layer. The reason is only optimizing the error at final layer or output layer will not help to minimize the error at neurons in hidden layers. Hence related weights and bias cannot be rectified. That means we have to find out the error for each neuron. Now if we see this equation carefully then we will find the first term at right hand side is derivative of cost function with respect to activation function. That means this is the error in kth neuron in lth layer. Let's denote it by delta kl. Next term in the equation can be written as d dw of w j k l into a j l minus 1 which is equal to a j l minus 1 using power rule of derivative formula. Here power of w is 1 so 1 minus 1 will be 0 and we know something to the power 0 means 1. Hence derivative of w j k l with respect to w j k l will be 1. So the final equation will be d c d w j k l equals to delta k l into a j l minus 1. It says derivative of cost function with respect to w j k l the weight to the edge connecting node j from l minus 1 layer to kth node in lth layer can be calculated as error at node k in lth layer into output of jth node in l minus 1 layer. Let's see how this equation works through network. In second layer that is output layer neurons error will be denoted as delta 1 2 and delta 2 2. These are calculated using cost functions derivative. That's fine. But how will we get error of hidden layers neuron? Well, we have to apply chain rule again. Delta k l can be written as summation of d c d a j l plus 1 into d a j l plus 1 d a k l which is equal to delta k l plus 1 into d a j l plus 1 into d a k l. In this network, delta 1 1 can be calculated by delta 1 2 into d a 1 2 d a 1 1 plus delta 2 2 into d a 2 2 d a 1 1. Similarly, delta 2 1 and delta 3 1 can be calculated with the help of previous layers delta. As we can see, error is propagated in backward direction. This is why it's named as back propagation. 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो बाय बाय